Okay, so we're back here at the wheel. I, I moved back an extra step, so I'm going. I have the wheel. So I'm going to start from the beginning of the wheel. So I have the wheel, which is a a movie clip. I mean, is a um a graphic symbol. And what I need to do is create a new symbol. I'm going to make new symbol. I'm going to call it wheel spin. And it's a it's going to make it a movie clip, and it's going to be blank. So it's blank. So what I'm going to do from here. Is I'm going to drag this wheel graphic symbol into place okay and now you can see I'm within the wheel spin symbol and this symbol actually I'm gonna I'm gonna do that the wrong way okay I'm gonna hit delete I'm gonna I'm gonna drag in the um, car 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 tire which is the PNG file it's the exact same image but it's the the um it's a PN, png file it's not a symbol and if i convert try to convert this to a tween it's going to not it's not going to let me do it so i'm going to hit f5 to add a few frames and when i hit create motion tween it gives me this this uh dialog box the selected items cannot be tweened you must convert this to a symbol in order to tween do you want to convert it to a symbol and if I hit OK it's just gonna make it a symbol so now it should work but it's got this symbol and I need to name it but I'm just gonna delete that one but this would work I'm gonna delete it so okay this I'm gonna remove this tween just so I don't have any problems so I have a blank keyframe I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna drag my wheel symbol into place right click create motion tween and everything worked fine okay so from here okay if I click on the wheel I don't have my I can't change my add that rotation so I'm just gonna click on the timeline and I can add the rotation I'm just gonna click one time and it'll give me the box and I can hit I'll type in four and hit enter or I can hover over and I get the little you know scroll the scroll hand and I can scroll through and add as many rotations as I want but I'm just gonna hit undo on I didn't mean to do that undo okay let me click on the timeline and see how many okay four alright so we're good to go um, I'm just gonna label this wheel just because I think it's a good idea to label everything and again I'm inside the wheel movie clip I'm gonna click on the scene and I'm gonna drag this out onto the wheel movie clip onto the desktop okay um, and there that is there's a couple of ways I can copy that I can hit command copy command paste which is command copy I mean, command yeah, command C command V to paste it or I can click on the item and I can hold the option key and drag out a new a new piece I mean a duplicate you can see the little arrow there with the little plus sign is telling me that it's going to duplicate it or I can just drag out another one directly from the library and again if I hit return all four wheels are doing exactly the same thing I'm going to close that out and I'm going to select these and get rid of them I'm just going to scale this down just a little bit put it in place make sure I don't accidentally touch this rotation spot and I'm gonna click on it hold the the option key and drag out a new one okay and now when I hit return the wheels should spin okay now I'm gonna have that same problem that I had with the head where if I click on it I either have to select everything and move everything or I can put them together so I'm gonna click on both of these I'm gonna click one hold the shift key click the other and I'm gonna hit command X take it away and now I'm going to double click on this on this item and I'm going inside the car uh, graphic symbol as you can see there's the two layers within it's showing me that it's in the graphic symbol and I'm, I'm going to make a new layer just because again I like to keep it clean and I'm going to name that wheel and I'm going to click on that layer and then I'm going to hit command V alright so now we're in there and I'm going to put them in place actually I'm just gonna nudge that over with the arrow tool and I'm gonna test it out okay wheels are still spinning okay so now I'm gonna go back to the desktop click 
and now when I click on it it's one item okay all right so now I want to make this a I need to add some frames to this timeline if I want to animate this so I'm gonna click over here at 60 uh, and then I'm gonna hit insert timeline frame and it'll just fill in all those spaces now I'm gonna right click create a motion tween and actually I want this to begin off the screen so I'm gonna move it off screen and right now I'm intentionally making a mistake because you see I made this car here I moved the car from here while the <coughs> while I was this is positioned right here it made a keyframe so what it's gonna do is start off it's gonna go backwards and then if I move this keyframe because I want to move this here I want it across let's see to the end you can see it's making another properties keyframe so because I made the mistake of clicking here it's gonna go back and then go forward and that's not what I want it to do so it's gonna go back and then go forward back and then go forward again that's not what I wanted to do so I'm gonna hit undo undo or I can just I can just I can remove uh, insert clear keyframe hang on clear keyframe all okay so now that blanked out that keyframe or you could just hit undo till you got back to this so now I'm gonna move this playhead all the way back to the beginning and that's where I'm going to move this over and it should work just fine I'm gonna nudge this up a little bit okay so now again nothing's happened again but it's blue so there is a tween here so I'm gonna move the playhead all the way to the all the way to the end it kinda of caught up with me so I'm gonna move it all the way to the end and now from here I'm gonna hit the shift key just to constrain it I don't you don't have to and I can just keep moving it over I can release the button as much as I want because it this doesn't move so it still should work so I'm gonna hit return command return and it's working it's actually moving a little too fast I want to slow it down so I can actually see the the figure okay so I'm gonna close that and I can just add a few keyframes by hitting F5 um, right now this entire thing is selected so it's just each time I hit F5 is gonna add 60 frames and that's not what I wanted to do okay so I'm just gonna hit command Z to undo that actually deselect those those frames so I can just click if I want it to go once I can add let me see control and I can add one frame at a time F5 okay and add the frame and make sure you add it in the middle if I let's see if this will do this if I add it on the end that's just gonna be dead space because I, I need this keyframe I need to add them in the middle but I can move that keyframe by clicking on the command holding the command key and clicking just that and and it sort of lets me move that keyframe over okay and I hit command return and there we actually I think I need to slow this down a little bit more so I'm gonna click here and I select the whole thing I don't want to do that so I'm gonna hit the command key to just select this one little frame and add a few more frames by hitting F5 okay now hit return and that's going just about right there we go